I actually enjoy it because I'm a hunter and I'm used to spending eight to 10 hours out in the woods. So I'm used to this weather. Certainly not everyone who was braving today's single digit temperatures had the same cheerful attitude Byron Metz had as he gave friendly waves to drivers in front of Liberty Tax Service. After beginning the job Monday on the coldest week of the winter so far, he bundled up for the chill. You definitely have to layer up. I have two pair of pants on, I have my hunting socks on, and I have at least three or four long sleeve shirts. And you always gotta wear gloves too. Perhaps it's the friendly people who keep his spirits high. Yes, I, I have a lot of people that honk at me, a lot of people that wave back. And even here on the Westminster College campus, some students weren't fortunate enough to be able to get out of bed and go straight to their classes. Some had to stop by the admissions house and offer tours to families who were anxious to get out and see the college campus despite the inclement weather. We just try to spend more time like inside, like talking about stuff rather than, uh, you know, spending a lot of time outside pointing out stuff like, well, um, you know, sit in the building and I'll point out stuff from windows rather than walking around to the specific place. As a tour guide at Westminster College, his priority is introducing new families to campus despite the bitter cold. I think people are just less likely to ask questions because they don't like standing out in the, like in the cold weather. And that's what I really feel bad for. I don't mind it myself, but I feel bad for the people taking the tour. Temperatures are expected to stay in the teens for the rest of the week, so bundle up and stay warm if possible. In Lawrence County, I'm Courtney Crown for the Newcastle News.